Hello and welcome to gfxtoday.com Today we'll be learning how to make letters like what you see and it's lighting so be sure to stay with me my name is Abanob and this is gfxtoday.com so as you can see now today I'm gonna be working on 3D Studio Max 2010 and the reason why because there is a modifier here called qualify mesh and we will be using this so let's see what will we be doing first let's create a plan go to the front view make plan one by one and put it on the center now we won't care about the materials here because we will be using 3D Studio Mac 2008 in rendering because it's much faster so let's see what is perspective and now we need to make our letters so press text and ok front view again F3 and put any letters here maybe see here put it in the place and increase the size down put it in the center and we maybe we can put another text in a lower maybe 10 type what you want here because we want to see this effect on the big and small size now select our text and put a pebble modifier modifier pebble Oops. the height increase height and now level 2 and the outline maybe something like this so this is good ok and we can copy this and paste it to here paste we need to adjust this thing here so we will decrease maybe something like this not much maybe this point three okay it's good now let's go to the qualified mesh and this is only in 3d max 2010 so what it's gonna do I'll show you now what it is for. Now we want to make a turbo smooth to this text here. So if we went here and choose turbo smooth, this is what's gonna happen. So let's undo that, control Z, and press Q from your keyboard and qualify mesh. Now this is what it does let's play in this here some maybe make it four now the more the segments here the better the result we will get let's see now if we make turbo smooth what's gonna happen and this is the result we can maybe make it one okay it looks better now copy these two and paste them here
okay now before we export this we need to convert it to editable poly so select all right click convert to editable poly and now everything is editable poly so choose everything group okay and export export it as an object so call it text press save and export now after this export is done we will be going to 3d studio max 2008 so press done and now in we are in 3d studio max 2008 press file import and choose our object press ok we don't need the materials and now we are there so press F F10 and choose V-Ray and let's adjust our render settings so enable frame, buff frame buffer and default light off adaptive QMC and culture room okay indirect illumination on and light cache now make it uh, medium show calculate phase and press light cache again and leave it 1000 ok because sticks on environment we will deal with this later and system show window now we can save all these settings if we want if we go to presets and select them all and call it whatever you want maybe a render settings and press save so now every time you go and open V-Ray from here you can go to render presets and choose your render settings and press load this will load everything here so you won't have to make this every time and these render settings are on the website so be sure to go to gfxtoday.com and they are there so now select those Maybe only this one. Move it just a little bit. Like this. Same thing here. Go to the left view. Okay. And we need to make a bend amplifier. And make sure that the bend gizmo is in the center here. Now it's here, so move it up. Like so. And now try to bend this the X axis. Just a little bit like this. And copy this and paste it here. Again, move this. Just uncheck this one. Okay. Now, press M to bring up our material editor. 
choose get material and we ray mtl for the diffuse color make it white and reflect something like this supply this and here and for the background you can make it something white Now we need to make environment here. So press M again. Get material and V ray HDRI. Use studio setup. Spherical environment. here as an instance ok one more time and one more time now press F9 to see where we are so surrender and this is the result so let's close this press F10 and in the render in the color mapping make the type from change it from linear multiply to exponential exponential ok I don't know press render and see what happens so now as you can see the result is much better so you can Go to from view and press P again. This is K. Press F9 again. You can enable the save frame to see how it looks like. So now it looks much better from this angle so let's move to the next step and make the lighting beneath our letters so how can we do that first create a camera from this view with ctrl c and go to the perspective, perspective again and choose this editable poly now can hide this one for now hide selection and we need to choose all the back segments here we have too many segments so how can we choose them choose polygon and go to an easy view like this where you can easily select only the back sides maybe the top view ok and choose this one and select these ones here so when we press perspective we have selected them all can manually select these ones Great. and press M 
choose an empty material get material and now let's see choose V-Ray light MTL so this material will generate our light make this one something like bluish light like this light to our segments uncheck this and go to the other one do the same with the selection can close this for now Okay, let's see, everything is selected here. Great, press M again, copy this material, and call it anything, and choose something like this color. Okay, apply it, and let's move to the next one. Press P for the perspective. Okay, and this material again, and make it maybe green. Looks good. And for this one, we will use a normal light. So go to lights, V ray a light and go to the front view and make a light here for the color make it maybe something like reddish color okay top view it's here and unhide all and move our light something like this Go to the front view. Now, camera view. Show save frame. And let's press render and see what happened. So now, after rendering our scene, we notice many things. First, I forgot to make the light invisible. So we'll make it invisible. And for the light beneath it, we want to make it stronger. So, light invisible and press M again for every one of them make it maybe like like 5 and this one and this one again or multiplier make it like 5 and maybe I want to make the scale of this top view Move them to the center. This one. Now press F9 again and see what happens. And now here is the final result. This text and lighting here. So hope you like it. And visit our website for more useful tutorials here. I got some nice video tutorials here. And I would like to thank everyone who is supporting me with comments, Johnson, Shiko and everyone. So thank you. Hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Abanob and this is gfxtoday.com.